Welcome to WCI's demonstration of some basic click view potential. What we're going to do today is we're going to go over some basic concepts of dashboarding in click view. As you can see on the screen right here, we've imported some data and please check out our other webinars for more information on how to insert that data from both SQL Server and Excel Sheets. But as you can see right now, what we have is a very basic breakdown of revenue trends for a, a company called Whole Car Importers. And we have a number of different things. One of the great things about uh, ClickView is that you're able to essentially filter on the fly. You're able to send information back from your users after you create it to your users, and they're able to filter the data by the metrics that they're interested in looking at. So at the top chart here, we have a very simple uh, line graph that's showing our revenue trend by year. You can see that our years are broken down by different colors, and we have our months here as well. And then the, we have two pie charts at the bottom, both revenue by product line, revenue by territory. This is broken down by states in the United States, and then all of our others. As you can see, this company does a vast amount of business in an international business. And then we also have our top 10 sales associates over these three years. Now, if we want to look at a specific year, for example, we only want to look at 2004, we have a number of different options. We can actually click on the, on the chart itself and filter through just the 2004. And that filters all of our data here as well. And then if we want to filter back up, we can always filter back up to show everything. We can also look at different points for the six months of the year. And again, we're looking at a comparison between 2003 and 2004, and now we can see that all, most of our revenue coming from those months as well. So what we can also do is, once we're in a certain year, we can always choose to clear our selections at the top to go back and show everything. Now all of these charts are going to be uh, filters, so that we can click by classic cars, as you can see that our revenue changes, so we're showing the revenue trend for classic cars here, and our top 10 sales associate in that category, and then buy our territory. And then if we also want to look at California, we can tell that we have almost no activity in the first half of the year in 2003, a flat growth here in 2004, and then a downside on 2005. And then what we can also do is we can come back up here and we can clear we can clear all of our items as well. Now, one of the great things about Click Tech is that we can also change how our data is visualized through a very handy feature called Quick Selection. So what we can do is we can come up to our Fast Change icon here and go ahead and change it. So now that we're looking at this data as a column graph here as well, and so we can see that, how it's broken down, and we can compare the three years. And again, same factors appeal. We can always just go look at George Venus numbers, who sold $514,000 over the past three years. And we can see what they've been broken down in motorcycles. Or we can clear that selection by simply clicking here. And then we can see all of his revenue and where he's been selling and that sort of thing. Now, as you can see here, there's a green icon here as well which then tells us that we're using this filter throughout the entire dashboard. So if we go down to our breakdown by product, we can then see how much he's selling, and we can change our customer name. These, as we can see, the white items here are the items that he, is being, um, that he has done business with, and the grayed out items are those customers that he's not sold anything to. So let's go ahead and show Gift I Corp. And we can then see our data for 2003 in the blue columns here, and then red in column 2012. And then we can also change our product lines to simply planes and show that. Now because we have these green items here, we can come back here, and as you can see, we're further broken down. So in this case, uh, George has only sold planes to gift eyed corpse only in the state of Connecticut, and is a total amount of sales is $49,000. Now this is very useful from a dashboarding standpoint, but sometimes you just need to see the raw data. There's a couple of different options that you can do here. Let's go ahead and clear these selections. We're going to add, we're going to 
right down here. We're going to copy this sheet. So now you can see that we have this whole thing broken down. And we're going to remove this. And we can do a couple of things. So the first thing that we can do is we can go into our properties. We can go into our general settings. And then what we can do is we can choose what different versions that we want to do look at here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a pivot table. Click Apply. So now I can go from my bar graph to my pivot table. And now we see my order is broken down by month. So I can expand it and we can see the years here as well. And then what I can also do is I can also choose, let's choose George again. So now we see his data here as well and the amount of sales that he's done for each month, for each order year. And then what we can do is let's go ahead and choose another customer, right? So Land of Toys. And again, we see that we can expand these right here. And then what we can do is that once we're ready to send this data out, what we can do <clears throat> is we can simply click on our Excel icon right here. And that's going to bring up the numbers right here as well. And so I can export this out to Excel very easily and then use this data and a number of other different reporting through Power Pivot or PowerShare uh, through the Microsoft brand or through anything else that can handle an Excel document. Even what I can do is I can then change this data and then resubmit it into Excel. So it covers the basics of reporting and dashboarding in ClickTech. Check back for our other webinars, more information on how to get the data into this, into this model, as well as other great things that you can do with ClickTech.